Okay, this is a 5.5 horsepower Craftsman that someone gave to me for free. That's right, all I had to do was pick it up and fit her in the trunk. Mulcher. It mulches, apparently. I just did a test run there. And the grass will need cutting soon. Mom wants me to cut the front lawn because people are coming today. Ooh. But anyways, it works great. Um, it's what, a 21 inch? Yeah. What's this here? What's that there? Yeah, there you go. Anyways. It's pretty, it's pretty dirty underneath. It needs to be clean. The frame's falling apart. I may just use the engine for, uh, you know, go-kart if I can't, only if I can't fix the other one. It'll go a shit ton faster, that's for sure, but. Anyways, so there's that. But that's not the only thing gave me. And look what he did. He's got this as the pull start right now. And he's got me, I just ran it for a few seconds, a full tank of fuel. Yeah, basically. A full tank of fuel. And I, it looks like this whole thing's a fuel tank, so that's a lot of fuel. And it, the oil's only half full, so that needs to be topped up. But Mon just wanted me to cut the lawn with this for whatever reason. There's, that needs to be cleaned up. That's the filter. Uh, the uh, exhaust or whatever is pretty uh, getting rotten. Other than that, it runs great. Sounds good. There's nothing. Doesn't sound like there's anything wrong with the engine. He then gave. It also came with this. Easy empty. Right. He gave me this. Whoops. He gave me this. Which I don't think I'm gonna use today, just because we never have used one. But yeah, he gave me this too, which is a weed eater. He didn't call it a weed eater, but it's a weed eater. Weed, whatever. Weed whacker, whatever you want to call it. But the only problem is, I don't believe it's going to work right away, because it appears to be missing the spark plug. Right there. See? There's nothing there. So, I'm going to have to cover it up with a Kleenex or something, so at least it doesn't rust. It's a little engine, but yeah. McCulloch. 22cc gas string trimmer. 3315 is a mile. It's got a thingy here. Anyways. So yeah, I'll just uh, show you that it runs. If I can get this. I got this as a replacement. Because I think the bolt fell in the driveway for this. Because this was together. I took it apart so I could put it in the trunk. It's not the right thing, but... If the wing nut goes on there, plastic wing nut that is, that's cool. If not, then whatever, who cares? What I might do later is duct tape this. It didn't work out, but I might duct tape this layer just for now. I already primed it wrong once, so I shouldn't need to prime it again. You primed it five times. What do you want for free? The old turd runs well. Go craftsman. And what cut that grass so damn well? I mean, it couldn't have been the tractor, right? Look how good I did. Uh, I need that trim I fucked up there. Um, what could have cut the grass so friggin' well? It just needs to be to get the trimming done. Cut the grass of this the other day. Yes, it was this that actually cut the grass. The thing I got for free. It has a redneck pull string and needs, it's missing half the oil it requires, but had a full tank gas. Because of the condition this guy took care of it in, and the fact that I don't trust they maybe used the right oil, it got actually pretty damn hot the other day running it. 
I'm probably going to empty the oil out of it since there's not much left in there anyway from when I got it and put some new oil in it straight 30 so I will be back with that alright got some here it's been in the garage for quite a bit hopefully it's fine 900 milliliters cat's been on it is left 900 milliliters so it's almost a whole bottle one liter but yeah um, this is a really sketchy way to do it but I just got an empty bottle that was in the garage. There's quite a few of them. Sadly, you can find any small empty bottles, but I'm going to try and somehow aim this so that the oil gets in there. I don't know. It's pretty sketchy. I need like a smaller funnel, but I don't know where one is. If I can find a smaller funnel, cool, but if not, I'm going to have to use this. Alright, got a 13 16 bit here. Hopefully, it will do the trick. Find a smaller funnel. I know there's one in there somewhere. I remember seeing it was a little blue funnel, but maybe you took it with them in the past. I don't know. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I don't fucking know what I'm gonna do here. Oh well, shit happens. So let's go. What the hell? It's metric. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Three fourths. Three fourths fits perfect. Yeah, that's the oil. That's definitely the oil. Let's see if we can catch it. It's got a wash on it, make sure to catch it, which I just didn't, and it fell on the, um, fell on the bottle. That's real nice. I'm a bit of a klutz, so don't mind me. Alright, three, two, one. on the oil and I dropped the bolts in there because I'm an idiot and again I'm a clutch so my fingers freaking drop things if you know even when I'm paying attention. That's really dirty oil. It's very syrup like. Ugh. Good thing I emptied it. It's probably considering the way you treat it it's probably the same stuff when he bought the tractor. It's January of the 91st day of 2003. So I believe it was made in 2003, so it's a 10 year old lawnmower. So for chances are that's 10 year old oil that's been sitting in there. Possibly, who knows. Now I can see if I did get the bolt out. That all cleaned up. Grab the bolt that's nicely oiled up now. Get that grass out of it. At least it'll stay clean. Oh my god, is this plastic? It's plastic. It's friggin' plastic. It's a plastic bolt. Oh my goodness. That is sad. It's plastic. Real nice. Real way to cheap out, huh? I'm going to seal her up now. We're going to need a rag so we can check the dipstick properly. That's what it's called, dipstick, right? It doesn't need to be that tight, especially since it's plastic and I trust it. They say straight 30 oil this is the recommended for most tractors, including this one. Yeah, see why we gotta get a rag? That is not gonna be accurate at all. Do it sideways and, and this. Now that is some really clean oil right there. Right, so now we're gonna get the dipstick here. Dry it off properly. We're gonna put it in. We're going to pull it out, and then again, pull it out. Yeah, we definitely need more. It's showing up, though. It's good to have it a little, 
a little too full than a little too empty. It's always best to go by that little. It's better on the engine that way. All right. Of course, if you have, yeah, it's just just past full. Yeah, just past full. Show you. It's just past full. Okay. Anyways, now we got some oil in there. We're gonna put this on, seal it, wipe off any slight spillage we had. From the dipstick, because I'm a clumsy bastard. There we go, now we're all dried off. And we don't have much oil left. We got like, we only got 100 milliliters of oil left. So this lawnmower takes 800 milliliters of oil and uh, one liter of gasoline. This is for cold start, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because I can. <laughs> Where are the problems? This stupid thing keeps getting loose. <laughs> Off the choke it. How to choke a lawnmower without choke? Well, all a choke is is basically taking away the air from it, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to take off the air filter, which this one's a bit of a bitch. Here we go, dirty as hell. Put your thumb here, plug it out until the easier said than done, and yeah. Okay, we got a person halting me, and we're gonna try and choke it. Start that way. <laughs> Which is. <laughs> Good, I say. She didn't get hot this time. Amazing. She got really hot yesterday, and I was like, <laughs> I should check the oil on. It was pretty fucked up. Oh yeah, muffler will be hot. Oh yeah. Spark. Yeah. Block will be hot, obviously. Yeah. Oh yeah, she runs good now. With low aisle. Works good, but. Unless I feel like welding the frame and using it for a lawnmower, it will fall apart, so I'll also take the engine out of it and use it for something else. I definitely need to change the air filter though. I don't know if you saw it, but I'm going to pull it off right now. There. And if we can get the filter out, which I couldn't last time because it was stuck. There we go. Okay. Look how dirty this filter is. That's really bad. Like, I don't think anything has been changed on this lawnmower since it was bought from that by that guy. Except the fuel. It's pretty bad. This is nasty. The inside's okay, but the outside's bad. I don't think it gets much air. So maybe I'll put get a replacement if possible, or just simply put a special filter on there. Some performance filter. I mean, the best thing to do, they say, is if you want more horsepower of these things, or any any engine in that matter it's quite simply you need to even if you're using a regular air filter get like lengthen the the tube for the air filter in this case there's no tube but put a tube here for the air filter make it move up or around or around 
away from the engine basically because the engine is putting out hot air and there's more oxygen and cold air and less than hot air so the idea is move this up here or this way or something out of the way <clears throat> so I mean the idea is probably just to put it up because you'll be moving so cold air will be rushing towards it right and that will not only be better for your engine and give it more life um, it'll raise the horsepower a bit probably not by much on an engine like this like maybe 0.23 something like that but I mean it'll be a lot better it'll run a lot better too it'll run a lot better it's better, better for the engine so longevity is extended and slight increase in horsepower for a lawnmower or a car or anything else like that. Dude, fuck off flies. I know a person who had a 3.5 horse did a few modifications, just stuff like that, and they got it up to about um, 3 to 5 horse, a 3.5 to 5 horse, so that's pretty good. Anyways, yeah, just an idea. But, I mean, I could just go out and get a proper engine, but what's the fun in that? You don't get to, you don't get to make your own crazy co contraption. What's the fun in that, right? So, why not? I got it for free, so if I frig up something, that's alright. I mean, I don't want to, that's not the plan, but you know. You know, it's just for fun. Learn something. It's a Tecumseh engine, and the information is on the side. And I hate it when they do that with the information because that doesn't tell me dick. I actually had to look online. That actually means after converting it's not perfect but it's TVS something. I know it's 115 cubic, cubic, what is it? 115 cubic centimeters. And that's that date of manufacture thing. If anyone can uh, verify what that, which one of those is, I, I'm, I, I'm guessing that's, 91st day of 2003 in the J, I don't know, but although they, although apparently below 32 degrees or 0 degrees Celsius, um, 5W3 is recommended. Anyways, that's it. That's the eager one with the easy empty and all that other bullshit I got with it for free, including that thing right there, which is 22cc, by the way. I don't know if I said that before. I plugged up the spark plug hole, hoping that it doesn't screw up. And I'm going to grab this for it blows away. That's no good. And put everything else away, including the parts, I, the all these parts I use and all that. So, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. More to come.